Alright, so this video is going to be part one of our absolute slash conditional convergence practice. So we want to prove if the series below is absolutely convergent or conditionally convergent. And we have our series right here, the sum from n equals 0 to infinity of negative 1 to the n over 3n plus 2. Now, the first thing we should try to do, at least, is to see if we can prove that this is convergent or divergent. Now, you'll see here that this is an alternating series, okay, you're alternating between positive and negative, okay, your first term, well, this is going to be negative 1 to the 0 because we're starting from n equals 0, so that's going to be positive, but then your next term, n equals 1, well, now you're going to have a, a negative term there. So we know this is alternating. Now, we can prove if this is convergent or divergent using the alternating series test, okay, and the two conditions that need to be met in order to be able to say that this series is convergent is that it is decreasing, okay, it needs to be decreasing for all n, and you have to have the limit as n approaches infinity of b sub n equals zero. Okay, now what is that, that b sub n? Well, the b sub n, okay, as we went over when we did alternating series test, that's just going to be this series without what is making it alternating, okay? So we take out that negative one to the n. B sub n just becomes one over three n plus two. Now we need to see if this is decreasing, okay? If it's decreasing, that means if we plug in an n plus one, okay, that would be our next term, right? So it would be going n comma n plus one, right? n plus two. So kind of get used to that, okay? If you're going to the next term in the series, now you're plugging in an n plus one for n. So that's how we can prove if it's decreasing, okay? And you can just see that here. We have a one over three n plus two, and we see, well, if we plug in a n plus one, the next term in the series, what happens to this, this fraction? Does it become less than the one before or greater than the one before, okay? Now, this will just end up being a three n plus three, and that becomes plus two. So this is really, you can rewrite this as three n plus five. Okay, that's the next term in the series. So we know that this fraction, okay, is going to be smaller than this fraction because the denominator is bigger than the one here. Okay, so we can draw our, our, our greater than sign, which means that this is indeed decreasing, okay, because the term before is greater than the term after. Now we can just do a little check mark there. And the last thing to do is take the limit as n approaches infinity of b sub n. So there's our little decreasing part. All right, decreasing. Now we take the limit as n approaches infinity of b sub n, which we said was 1 over 3n plus 2. Okay, now if we take the limit as n approaches infinity here, you can see that we're going to get an infinitely large denominator. And that means that this limit is going to equal zero, okay? Because a infinitely large denominator will make the fraction the whole, as a whole infinitesimally small. So yes, the limit does end up equaling zero. So both our conditions are met. And that means that this series is convergent by the alternating series test. And now we need to actually see if this is going to be absolutely convergent or conditionally convergent and to do that we need to take the absolute value of this series okay and if that ends up being convergent the absolute value that is well then we know it's absolutely convergent and if it's divergent when we take the absolute value well we know it's only going to be conditionally convergent so let's take our absolute value here we have the sum from n equals zero to infinity of now we do the absolute value sign negative one to the n over 3n plus 2, okay, and that just becomes the sum from n equals 0 to infinity of 1 over 3n plus 2. And now we can just do our limit comparison test. So we get the limit as n approaches infinity of a sub n over b sub n, right? That's what the limit comparison test is having us do. We're putting a sub n over b sub n, okay, and if we get a, a product, the, if this limit gives us a product that is going to be greater than zero and finite, well, we know that 
either both series converge or both series diverge, okay? So let's take this limit. We get the limit as n approaches infinity of one over three n plus two over one over n. That becomes the limit as n approaches infinity of, we put this n to the top here, we get n over three n plus two. And you can see either if you want to use L'Hopital or if you want to divide everything by n that we're going to get our limit equal to one third. Okay, one third, that's greater than zero, it's also finite. And what that is going to tell us is that either both series are going to converge or both series are going to diverge. And we know that since this series right here, that, that harmonic series, since that diverges, well, this is going to diverge as well by the limit comparison test. Okay, so we have diverges by the limit comparison test. And that means overall that since the series is convergent, but the absolute value of the series is not convergent, well, that's telling us that it is conditionally convergent. All right, and that's going to do it for this video. So if this video helped you, make sure to leave a like and subscribe by clicking my icon in the top left. You can also view the playlist for sequences and series, the explanation video for absolute and conditional convergence, and the next video in the series. Lastly, if these videos are really helping you and you would like to consider supporting me, I have my Patreon linked in the description down below, along with some other pretty cool links that you should definitely check out. See you soon.